Hi everyone, Amy Love here. I thought I would pop in real quick and show you what I've been working on. Uh, I'm trying, I'm doing my first craft fair in Maine, so I'm kind of excited about it. So I've been really trying to make some things and get it ready. The first sale is this Saturday, so we'll see how it goes. But I decided I would do some stockings, but I didn't really have time to sew them up. So I decided altering stockings is the way I was gonna go. So I got a pack of these and a pack of these at Hobby Lobby. And I haven't started the little ones yet, but I am excited to do them. But I have done uh, two of these so far and I'm gonna spend the day doing the rest. I'm not sure how many came in a pack. I think it was four, so I only have two more big ones to do. But I wanted to show you what I created. So, of course, I used beautiful goodies from Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy, and you will find a link to Kim's shop below, as well as the links to all the other designers on the team. They are all amazing. Be sure you go and check them out. But this is the first one that I did, so I'm just going to start at the top. I put this beautiful bow scalloped lace and I left it so that the top of it, uh, these scallops up here would be above the edge. I think it's just so cute. And then, um, right, it's just so pretty. And what I love about doing an already all uh, stocking and just altering it is it already has the closure. It already looks decent on the inside. I don't have to worry about lining it because making stockings is more work, more time than I have to give right now. <laughs> So I put that beautiful trim from Angel Dream Crafts and then I started on the bottom. So underneath this dangle, I put this beautiful trim and it is beaded and sequined, although I'm not sure if my camera will pick the details up, but very, very pretty. And I did wrap that all the way around. Then this beautiful dangle here, I just love the dangle. I love how dainty the dangle is and that it has all these really pretty just like polka dots so cute so I put that and I also put that all the way around too so the back would be just as pretty even though if it's hanging you won't see it I feel better about it <laughs> and then I put this really pretty pleated polka dot double layer tulle lace that I'm sure you've seen before if you've watched my DT package videos it's she has this in several different colors and I love them all. So that is from the shop. This beautiful trim is from my stash. But then Kim has Sari Silk now in several different colors. And I love a Sari Silk bow. I just think they're so cute. So I did a double bow. This back one is kind of like a tan creamy color. And then this one is more like a soft white color. And then I just sewed one of her beautiful... Uh, snowflake bling which is my favorite Christmas item in her shop for a few years now I love it and she does try to keep them in stock during the holidays because we all love them so much <laughs> but they do sell out fast so make sure you head over to the store and get you some of those and then I used some bridal oh Jake's been on my desk cat hair goodness gracious okay uh, I did cut up some bridal applique for the bottom and I just left the back uh, plain at the bottom but I just think it's so super cute so that was the first one and then I decided I was gonna have to have to do a pink one so here is the pink one now I only had enough of this dangle trim to cover the front. So the back does not have the dangle, but it's still just as pretty because all the other trims go all the way around. But on this side, you'll be able to see better the, the bottom layer. So I started with this beautiful pink lace. I don't know if she calls it something special in the store, but I love this and she's had it for a while. Um, hopefully there's still some in the store because it's so cute. So I started with that layer. And then I added the dangle on top. And then this beautiful, beautiful pink tool with the gold stars. Oh, it's so sparkly and so pink. I love it so much. That's there. And then on top of that is the pleated uh, tool trim in white. And she has this in uh, pink, which is right here. 
and she also has it in like a beige and I believe she has it in a mint um I think oh, maybe in a turquoise too so you want to check the shop to see what she's got in stock right now but she does try to carry the pleated tool trims and all the colors thank you Kim and then here is the double layer uh, pleated polka dot tool in pink so cute <laughs> just love it and then here it is again in white with the pink tool trim on top with some more of that gorgeous um, bling trim from my stash and on this one do I have the rest of it yes let me show you I used just a small piece of this gorgeous huge applique that comes from Kim shop I'm not sure if she has any more of these but they are big and beautiful and they give so much so I just cut a small piece off and still have so much to work with I cut a small piece off and just put it uh, right there but I think it's so cute it's so pink and adorable and I love it and I am looking forward to making some more today and uh, Whatever ones I get made today, I'll post pictures of over on Instagram. And uh, I hope you'll give it a shot. I mean, altering these stockings is just so much fun. And they just turn out so beautifully. So hopefully they'll do well at the craft fair. I'll keep you posted. And um, please leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. And make sure you go check out all the other designers. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.